It's the uh, first part of May right now, and I wanted to give you a little update on how the grapes are doing. If you remember, uh, the grapes were, uh, this is, these are grapes that were uh, wintered over from last year, and I've been pruning them. And I planted some new grapes in the middle of February earlier this year. But let me show you how they're doing. But first, let's go back and kind of give you a, a little chronology of how these grapes started to come back at the beginning of the year when uh, winter started going away. I've trimmed this one up now, and it has, it's, so you can see up there, it started to uh, sprout a little bit. And uh, if you trim these upright, boy, do they, uh, they, may, they, they grow a bunch of grapes. Let's see, let's see if you go down there, you can see like a, right there, see that little stick sticking up there? And hopefully that'll grow. Now, of course, grapes, these uh, just went dormant over the, uh, over the winter, but they survived. But they'd survive in the cold anyway, but look at this. They're already sprouting grapes. Look at that. That's a, it's a little pod, I guess you'd call it, of grapes. See, these things, they're, they're grapes. They're already sprouting grape, whatever you call it, grape bunches. Bunches of grapes. See, there's another one. You know, those are little bunches of grapes growing. So they won't be long before they're, they are, are uh, giving me some grapes. And let's go over here and I'll show you the... Uh, see, this is the other side and you can see there's some sprouts here along the bottom. Now I've already trimmed this up for the year. But see, sprouts are starting to grow, but up near the top, there is a lot of activity there. So... We'll see how, what kind of a grape harvest we get. We got a real good grape harvest last okay, year. Okay, I think it's the 21st of March today. But anyway, I wanted to show you how these grapes are growing. I think uh, it's two weeks after the last photograph. But look at that. The, the grapevines grow really fast. And I have been trimming these a little bit. But uh, as you can see, if you look at these great pods up there. I can't reach them, but see they look like this. Lots of them. Look, oh, look at this one. Look at that. This thing is going to give us a lot of grapes. But anyway, grapevines grow really fast. And then this one here that I put in, uh, look at that. It's starting to bloom. So it looks like that's going to Down there is the base of the plant. And you can see here that, you know, there's some pretty good size trunks or branches coming off of that and you can see there is some vegetation growing like right here now this that's that's a grape cluster and this that's a grape cluster now you can see over here this is another grape that I planted a while ago and you can see there's leaves on it it's, it's coming up now this year there will not be any grapes on it even if it gets that big and it might. And as you can see right here, there are pretty good grape clusters growing on this. Let's see if I got it right. There we go. There's a grape cluster there. And there's another one there. And they're all over the place. And if you go up here, you can see there's a lot of grape clusters up there. As you can see, they are really growing. Let me show you something quite interesting. I, I don't know if you know how grapes grow. I'm not really an expert on it. But you see these? This is a grape cluster, as we've seen before. And uh, you know, they look like that. Now, what happens is they, they go like this. See, it looks like there's some flowers or something coming off of each little grape. See, and these are doing it, too. Now, I don't know if those are little miniature flowers for each grape or not. But they do that. So here's one over here that's looking like it's starting and some of them are well into the flower stages or whatever. But they do that and then these little flowery things disappear and then the grapes start growing. And, and look at what we've got here. You can see up in here. Look at how many grapes we're going to get. Just hundreds and hundreds of them. Now, keep in mind that this is only one grape plant. Let me go around the other side so you can see. 
this is one grape plant and it's some kind of green seedless grape. You can see there's the plant down there. That's the root. And there's uh, you know, some stalks coming up. Now down here at the bottom, it's starting to fill in a little bit, but there's not a lot of fill in yet. But it's coming in. But see on this side too, I've had to clip a lot of things off the top up there. Because it's just, it's growing too tall. But anyway, that's okay because now clipping the top, you can concentrate, it can concentrate its nutrition on the grapes. So, at least that's my theory. So we'll see how this grows. Now, this other plant that I put in, these are some kind of a seedless purple grape. And, and look at that, it's growing fine. So we'll let that one grow and I don't think we'll get anything out of that this year but if it just climbs up a trellis that I'll put in here a little bit later and fills that out kinda well that'll be that'll be a good start for next year alright let's do a quick little walk around on the grapes now as you can see there's a uh, grapevine that's uh, gone between the plastic and the outer plastic and I've got to trim that off but I haven't been able to get up there but but look at this, you know, all these grapes in there, if you can see those, if the camera will focus. There's just tons and tons of grapes back in there. And uh, some here, so you can see they're, they're growing quite well. And as you can see, here's another one. I trimmed this, I think about four, two or three, four days ago, maybe, at the most. And I got all these uh, ends off, but look at that, they just come right back. And there's another one back there, another one there. As fast as you can trim these, they they come back and keep trying to grow again. See, here's one that I trimmed. You can see I cut it off. But see, there's another one up there. They just these grapes grow like crazy. And here's some more uh, some more grapes that are ripening up. I don't think it'll be too long before we'll be able to eat them. But, but if you remember, uh, this was pretty barren at the beginning of the year. <laughs> And now look at that. This is just one grape plant. <clears throat> now, over here is that grape uh, that I, the grape vine that I planted with the, the purple seedless grapes. This was planted in I think middle of February, and again it is uh, the early part of May here right now. But look how well that's grown. So I'm going to have to get a trellis up here pretty soon. But here's the rest of another shot of the grapes from this end. As you can see, uh, these, these things do really well in here. And there's another shot of them. Grapes really, really do well in here. So anyway, that's how the grapes are doing. And uh, grapes in a greenhouse, as long as you can keep them watered and keep it not really hot, but relatively cool, uh, they do well.